Hey guys, today we're gonna be playing some Clash Royale. It's kind of laggy on my tablet, so I'm live attacks on here pretty much. But I will be showing you guys some awesome replays. And it just updated. It looks like. Where are the eyeballs on the prince's horse? <laughs> Okay, oops, I forgot. It's gonna do this because I can't. I ran out of space to play another game, so I deleted the game, so I have to load up my account again. Unless. <laughs> Guys, tell me in the comments if you want me to start a new Clash Royale account. And I'll just delete it on here and then get it back and not link to my account. But right now I have some awesome replays to show you guys. Watch it, especially this one. <coughs> this one is so close. At the end. So I'm going to play Valkyrie Hog and do a push with that. And fire spirits, and then I zap the musketeer and witch. So that tower is gonna get down to 958, and here's here's a huge push coming at me. So I'm gonna have to fireball it. You see, it's the musketeer and the witch, and the musketeer wouldn't die without that fireball. Then we have to play the cannon. And he plays the goblin barrel when my guy is distracted from the giant. So that goblin barrel took out the tower, as you see. We're going to have to play Valkyrie with the barbs to defend the barbs and the witch. Which will take out the giant with the towers. So we stopped that after, from getting, they, we stopped them from getting the second arcane tower. So we're down a tower. And they still have 958 left on their left tower. So I think we're going to do Hog Rider. We do Hog Rider Musketeer next. So we're going to play the Hog Rider right now with the Musketeer. And the Minion Horde's going to get our guys. And then he plays the Giant, which is in front of my Hog Rider, too. So messes it up. I don't think I needed that fireball for the minion horde, but we did it anyways. We're going to have to play the cannon to defend. We're waiting for more elixir. Actually, we play the Valkyrie. I forgot. And then he's going to goblin barrel us. We just zapped, which now would have been a perfect time. And then we play the fire spirit to, in front of the goblins. They're down. That witch is going to go down. So we have, we are, we're going to do a hog rider, and f we're just going to do hog rider, I think. Guys. He plays a minion horde, which we're going to firewall, definitely. Yeah, we fireball right now. We got the barbarians, musketeer, and the minion horde. That was like a really good fireball, guys. We're going to, so now he sends a witch, we're going to musketeer with that. Fire spirits for the goblins. We have a mini push going down, so we're going to play ho Valkyrie with Hog. Yeah. But now we're out of Elixir to defend this giant. Or actually not completely. He ruins our whole push. He countered that push on the left, which I was really mad about. So our tower's at 981 going into overtime. This is when the awesomeness begins. Well, almost. So that mini peck is going to take out their mus his musketeer. We're going to do a Valkyrie musketeer push. We have to play a cannon to defend that goblin barrel. So our tower is down at 541 now. And we use the zap on the barbarians. And fireball tower. I think that is what that was for. And we, but we didn't quite get any of the troops really. We play the Valkyrie, then mini peck, then fire spirits. No cannon. 
a better placed cannon. And then zap. And then we play the fire spirits with the mini pet cubbies. I didn't know that was coming yet. Look, 101 on our health and there's ten, about 10 seconds left in overtime. Can we defend? He has a minion horde musketeer coming at us. And it, I can't believe it, but we actually did not lose. Can't believe it. So there's that replay, which was pretty close, guys, as you saw. No, I'm not rating you. I did not mean that. Actually, we'll gem this chest, guys. We got knights. Musketeer, which is something we use. And we have two more replays, I think. We're gonna get this started. It takes a few seconds for someone to place any troops. So I was waiting for my elixir to fill up, I think, so I could do a push, maybe. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to go to on speed. That minion horde's going to kind of take out that our push. And then we play the musketeer to get the witch. And then we have to play fire spirits to defend. And then we zap the expo. So our musketeer almost takes it out. We play the cannon that we didn't really need because the expo was, had like a slither of health. See? So that cannon was kind of useless. And he has a mirror, which I did not know, I don't think. Because I don't think he really ever used it. So he has a Valkyrie coming down my lane, but that's going to get taken out before it gets one hit off. He's going to play a giant skeleton on the right lane, and I do Valkyrie hog push. Which is going to take out his tower. And he, only, he plays a bomber to defend, and we have fire spirits too in the push. So we're going to... Our hog rider still has a little bit of health, so he's going to get a little bit of damage off. We're going to play that mini P.E.K.K.A. on the um, giant skeleton and zap it. So we're going to take him out. And then that bomber is not going to get a single hit off. So our tower is going to take it out. Then we're going to play the cannon to defend the expo. And they their battle is pretty even, but we're going to play the Valkyrie anyways. Um, we did not need to play that Valkyrie and then... Our Valkyries are going to have, like, a mini showdown. Then the giant skeleton comes in. I play fire spirit so I could get the fireball, I'm pretty sure. And then we're going to play our mini P.E.K.K.A. Here is where we kind of get screwed. Let me zap. No. Now we zap. No. Actually, we zap now, I think. Which we didn't even need the fire spirits because our zap kills level 7 minion hordes. So we're coming in with a mini, well, a little push. Our, our, that Valkyrie's going to take out our musketeer and we fireball their tower with the hog rider on it. So we did, we got it to 1274. The cannon's going to take out the Valkyrie and then we're going to play fire spirits to defend the minion horde. Which worked pretty good. And we're going to win a 1 crown to 0 victory. And he zapped our king tower. I'm pretty sure. But after the game was over. So there's that replay guys. And then here's this replay. So, looks like he's going to do us this again. We're going to do Valkyrie Hog Rider push with Fire Spirits and Zap that Wizard. So we're going to do quite a bit of damage. And then he plays the Minion Horde and we're really low on Elixir so we can't exactly defend that. Until we get this Fireball but we use it on the Witch and the Wizard because that Minion Horde is basically gone. And then we're going to play the cannon, I believe, once we get a little more elixir. 
Why? Oh, yeah, we played the Valkyrie, which was a terrible decision, guys. I don't know what I was thinking. Then we're going to play Hog Rider with Fire Spirits. And we're going to zap, I think. No, we don't zap yet. Yeah, we take out his tower. Then our Hog Rider will get like two hits off on his tower. And our mini peck is coming in. It's just going to do some damage. It's going to get two hits off too, just like the Hog. Now he has a pretty good push if he can get enough elixir, balloon, minion, horde, rage. But I don't think that's what he does, guys. He just does balloon rage. Oh, no, he does do. Yeah, and then he waits. But then after I take the minion horde out, he does balloon rage. We're going to play a cannon with musketeer. So we're going to take out that guy that balloon pretty quick it will get one hit off just takes our tower down to 67 but we're going to be able to defend with the musketeer then we play a hog to make a little push and then we're going to zap the witch i bet yeah our musketeer gets in range well the witch is in range of our musketeer now and then we're going to have to play the valkyrie to defend and then we firewall we got both the witch and the wizard. His wizard has like one HP left. So we're going to play a cannon. Which defends the wizard and the balloon. And then we're going to play a musketeer to defend the balloon. And our fire spirits didn't even go after it. I don't know if fire spirits go after balloons. So tell me in the comments. If you know guys. We have... A game winning push right here if our hog could actually get there without these dumb barbarians. Sadly, it didn't. And he's gonna take out the left tower. So we're gonna go with a musketeer Valkyrie push. Yeah. That. Now that. Yeah, the fire spirits go after at that time. Then he plays a witch in, which gets dominated. Then we get the three crown guys. Pretty quick. Sorry about this. If you can see that, I just pulled up my notifications. So we, if we could get to two thousand gold, we, I think I would upgrade my mini Pekka and not the fire spirits. Use my mini Pekka. I use more. Uh, see you next episode, guys.